Wednesday, everyone. Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy Wednesday. I hope all is well with each and every one of you. Today's video is not going to be too long. It's just me sharing how I make my fall 2024 wreaths. Very inexpensive. Um, the majority of these picks that I had cut down into little picks are purchased from a family dollar, Dollar Tree. Um, some is from Walmart and also from Dollar General. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This wreath will be replaced with the one that I had in my front room. Maybe within another week or so, I'll jump on here and show you guys another one that I will be making. So if you guys like this content, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe if you are new. So let's Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. This project is just basically every single single pick that I had around my home. I just put them all together. I do save leaves from different florals that I use. So um, I just grabbed everything out that I had and was trying to match it up. I really think the dark green would look better than the one to your left, the light green. So I'm trying to match it up. I only had four larger size leaves and then I had a few of the smaller size. So. We're gonna go ahead and start with the sunflowers. My choice to start with is the bright yellow sunflowers. I think they go well for fall. And then we'll just make a pattern, four on each side. Well, actually four total, one at the top, two on the sides and one at the bottom. And then we will just go from there. As many a times as I have made my homemade wreaths for the holidays and the seasons, I should have learned better to protect my fingers because on this project, I did burn my finger pretty bad on the glue. So just make sure that you have protection while you are doing crafting and don't be like me. <laughs>
My original plan when I started to do this particular wreath was going to be like a neutral setup, but I didn't have enough neutral floors around that was not being used. I was not going to take the ones out that I am using for my decor. So I just settled on with the yellows, the beiges. I'm also going to be bringing some of the maroon to your left. And there is like, they are for fall because I got them maybe a couple years back. If you guys could look at the very top of the screen, you'll see the purple little picks that I did purchase from Dollar Tree, like I said, maybe two to three years back. And it was fall season, so I know they was out for fall. But they kind of look like the little things that you guys remember back in the day we used to put in the fish tank. That's just how I see them. But I wanted to add a little bit more character to this wreath, so... I'm going to be starting to add everything that I have left. I did not use any of the orange. I just thought that was just going to be just a little bit too much color on this wreath. Like I said before, I wanted it to be neutral, but it did not turn out that way. But I still think at the end, the colors that I did use, the florals that I did decide to use, I thought it was very pretty.
All right, everyone, we are finished with my fall 2024 wreath making for the season. I do have one more that I will share with you guys here within the next week, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. If you are new, I welcome you to subscribe to my channel. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also make sure your post notification bell is on so every time I upload, you guys will be the first to see the video. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.